Hey buddy, it's John with Upstate Brush Control. Me and Josh are back here on this hillside in Greenville, South Carolina. Working on ripping out these junipers here. And uh, so, you guys watched the last video or one of the videos of the hillside that we tore out. It was that one right there. But yeah, that looks, uh, looks really good. The tree company saw us come back and get a few trees out. I had to, I was actually out of town uh, a couple days there. I took a little vacation, a little vacay, you know. I uh, went out to see a buddy of mine, Levi, out in uh, Wyoming. We went out there and did some duck hunting and uh, he owns a maintenance business with, um, with uh, he does lawn care. And then he does snow removal. Snowstorm came through, so we did some snow plowing, and uh, I helped I helped him with that a little bit, and uh, was able to do some duck hunt. But I had a great time. I did do a video of it. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put the link in the strip in the description. It's another channel that me and my wife have um, that we kind of put some family stuff up. If you guys want to check it out, check it out. But it's nothing great. But. Uh, so yeah, here we are. Um, big thanks to Levi though. Big thanks to Levi. I had a great time. But uh, so here's the hillside here. We do have some trucks kind of in the way, a little close for comfort. So we're gonna focus on this bottom section right here. And then um, when they're gonna get somebody up here to get these trucks moved and get some cones put up so it they're at least on that side there is another way they can go out over there or park or wait or whatever they're doing wait to get in so we are hard at it we got lots to do um getting this hillside grubbed and then mulch down so josh is ripping it out the reason why we are ripping it out is um, they are going to replant this hillside eventually and they don't want to have to worry about planting something directly underneath the stump. So this was supposed to be a very small creeping uh, like on the ground type juniper but uh, obviously they did not, did not get planted that away. <laughs> Somebody planted the wrong thing. And I guess they've been fighting it for 15 years or something like that. And like, oh, just be done with it. Once you get a place opened up, it goes pretty good. You have to watch out for these over here. The fire hydrants. And there is a manhole up in there.
going really good. We um a quarter way up the hill here. We're up to these two poplar that we're gonna save. Kind of looking back down on it right there. But yeah, it's uh it's going very well. Trimmed out around these. Josh was just trying to get that stuff off that edge. We would have started at the top where I like to start, but there's a bunch of trucks and stuff over here. So we had to wait for them to get stuff coned off and everything. And we aren't the type of guys to just sit around and wait for other people. So we, uh, they got cones and stuff now so we can keep working away up the hill.
give everybody a little bit of update. We've had quite a few delays this job. We should have been close to out of here by now. But as you can see, I got toolboxes out. Ugh. We hit a pipe up there and it took about an hour to figure out that it was nothing old abandoned. Um, you know, we only got a 20 minutes more of rip it out and then I can mulch that in no time. But so this machine was just in the shop for a brand new full wiring harness. So like this cable here, the positive cable, all that's new wires back here new whole thing from the ecm i think they call it the chassis harness there's an there's an actual engine harness and there's a chassis harness i think it was the chassis harness the one where you replaced but what happened was i got this code come up and it was saying something about i called uh asv i called them right away and i said hey i got a code coming up um it's this and he says oh it it appears you have low volt low voltage on your knock sensor which is this right here that's uh, the knock sensor and i've i have replaced that because we thought it was had to do with uh, we thought it had to do with with what we've done originally you know we tried several different sensors and things the first go around with this with the wiring harness and then that thing shows up. So anyways, super frustrated. I think what had happened, I was looking around here, checking terminals and all this kind of stuff. And the battery terminal, the positive battery, how battery terminal was not tight on the, um, whatever the thing was called. Yeah. <sighs> was not tight i could pick it up and drop it on and off there it's like are you kidding me so that's just that's just shoddy work i don't care who you are where you are of all things to to not tighten up the battery terminal they just set it on there i mean i twisted the bolt with my finger literally so i think what it did i i could get it started well i started the machine like this morning but with the vibration and moving around this hill, bouncing around everything, that thing rattled off. Drained out my battery. Because it's, I don't know. We, I'm hoping this is what it is. Battery issue. My battery is completely dead. Won't, won't. It's so dead, it, the, it won't charge off of this. We did jump it. Ran it for a few minutes. And it kept saying low voltage, low voltage. So ASV said there's a possibility it could damage something there he said you might end up with a lot more codes than you want to mess with so i'm going to try to find another battery so all right i'll be back josh gonna stay and keep ripping out stuff okay got my battery just got this cleaned out in here it had a bunch of sticks and dirt and stuff up in there but this is a heavy battery let's see if we can't get her in there
All right. I think that's it. I'm gonna get this uh, panel put back on and um, then I'll go get it straight. <clears throat> All right, let's see if she'll work. Screen's on. So it might take a minute for that. Oh, she fired right up. It might take a minute for one of these codes to leave this one right here. It's got to run a temp through the, it takes about five to six minutes uh, to be able to hit that, that high temperature for that to read properly. Oh, I hope that fixes it. I hope that fixes it. There goes another. Check is the uh, so it's a little low. The volts ten points or eleven point six. I wonder what it changes. It's gonna be a little bit higher the volts.
right, I've been running about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so and everything seems good. That code did go away. It has to get up to temperature uh, for it to get a proper reading. So I think that's what that was that first time when I put on the, um, turn the machine on. But cross our fingers, hopefully that got it. And uh, we got a little bit more right in here to do. Josh is gonna get that down here a little bit lower. It's pretty steep up there. Um, good bit of material still left to grind up. Then I gotta um, back drag it also. May another 20, 30 minutes and we'll be, yeah, I'd say an hour, probably about an hour. By the time we get everything done and wrapped up and blown off and everything, so.
Well, that's pretty much right for us. We got her done. Wasn't the prettiest as far as finishing. What happens is there's a lot more molts down here at the bottom than there is at the top. As you're, as you're going back drag and everything, that just spits and spits and spits. And it's hard to, uh, pretty hard to keep it consistent and make it look really smooth. I mean, I did the best I could, but there's a little ripples and stuff like that in there more than I would normally like to do or leave. But uh, Josh just getting it blown off. We got the important people checking it out. They like it, so. Let's go, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so. Oh. Josh grabbed the ball. They don't get run over out here. Well, um, so we're like, on this job, we're working for a tree company here in town and somebody asked why don't you just use a chipper the tree company has about i don't know they gotta have 10 or 15 chippers they gotta it's a big tree company here in town so the reason why we don't chip it is they wanted all that material up on on the hill as much as possible and so that's seemed like the most efficient way for us and for the tree company they didn't want to do it they had the equipment to do it and they hired us. I mean, that's, you know, the, the Porsche Mulcher has its place. A chipper has its place. Every tool has its place. Some are more versatile than others, but Porsche Mulcher, I think worked very good on that hill. Um, was a little steep, uh, a little steeper. I would have liked it had been, could have got a little bit finer, possibly a, uh, which one call it excavator with mulcher head that that might have been the ticket on that one but we don't have one um maybe in the future we'll end up getting one we'll see we'll see i'm not uh can't make any promises but we might have one coming one day i don't know when but we're gonna get loaded up here i'm gonna have to go get that battery um we unhooked and everything i, I didn't know how far i was gonna go i had to get that battery and everything so gonna get hooked back up here the machine is not charging so that should be at like 13 or 12.5 13 so something's up with the alternator either the wiring going to the alternator or the um either the wire going to the alternator or the alternator itself is bad which i highly doubt it's the alternator i have a feeling it's something new with the wire or the connection but We'll get her cleaned uh, or, uh, back to the shop and I'll, I'll test the alternator, see what it's at. And then we're gonna get loaded up and out of here. What do you think, Josh? Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, they're happy. It wasn't the prettiest job we've ever finished off. <laughs> we got it though. All right, let's get loaded up and out of here. Good.
Well, we're gonna get this strap down and uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below, thumbs up, really helps out the channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one, y'all.